Okay, here's the home. And there's the tennis center, walk right through. So it's at the very end of the street. And it's starting to sprinkle. So let me run on the inside here. We'll do a quick walk through. Double porches, need some painting. There's some age on here. It's occupied by a renter. The renter probably doesn't want to move, so they've left stuff just hanging around. So it's not showing like a model would. Couple cable cords going over off the porch here in the front. These are operative shutters. They probably have a few nicks or nings, dings to them. It's, it's really a rental right now, the way it's appearing. If, if I were selling this, I'd have it all spruced up, of course. They were my home, but I guess they're out of town and they got the renter in here. So now we're entering the home. Got a beautiful foyer entryway, nice chandeliers, wainscoting, nice crown molding, of course. All the details you'd expect at this price point. And then you have a double slider over here to the left, which can be used as a bedroom or an office. It has sound wired in speakers, at least. Uh, it has some of the bamboo window treatments and there's a full bath back here. So it could be a bedroom down here. The light is not working. Has pretty granite. I don't know if you can see that. Has nice tiling. Doesn't go all the way up, but it's it's pretty. Very nice. And it has the uh, electrical plugs within the foot moldings. And the foot moldings are a foot. They're really foot moldings. So back into the foyer entryway. And then there's a butler's pantry over here, leading into the kitchen, has a secretary desk. And you might see Ryan, the photographer, he's gonna be doing the, uh, there he is. Hey, okay, so he's gonna be doing the virtual tour. And then you have a powder room off the hallway here with the nice eight foot doors and 10 foot ceilings. Again, you have the same type of pretty granite for the countertops nice appointments and then you have a little coat closet over here to the left in this hallway and it leads back under the stairs for an ex extra storage area then you walk into the great room area which built in surrounding the fireplace and transoms and crown molding I apologize for all this uh, bounciness but the virtual tour will give you even more details. I mean, it's a beautiful home. It's just that it's a little messy right now. Nice cabinets, grade of refrigerator. You've got your oven built in and your microwave above, a farm sink, gas range in the center island. You've got a big pantry, a double pantry over here. And I'll come back and show you the butler's pantry from this side in a little more detail from the kitchen. Nice crown moldings, nice cabinets, of course. At the wine refrigerator, you got an ice maker. And at the wine rack, and then nice cabinetry. That leads out to the back porch. Uh, if you have a built-in seating area with storage underneath for your breakfast nook. It's quite charming. And a lot of recessed can lights everywhere. And this gives you the feel of the great room from behind the range. And I'll do a quick back porch look. You know, transom over a standard door, but it's full light door. You can see the tennis courts back there. It looks like the screen needs a little bit of work. And then you have a beautiful paved patio with the fireplace and your cookout area. And then you have a carport and your single garage with a bonus room above that. I have not been in that yet, but we will. And you can see the water in the distance, which is pretty. Little back door area. 
So this is a really good size porch. And now we'll head upstairs. Again, a pardon this. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. And then Ryan will get started now on his, his uh, 3D tour. When you walk upstairs, there's a door. We have it open in order to show the laundry room. And they really jazzed it up with the shiplap cabinetry, soapstone countertops, really nice. Nicely tiled, seems to have, I guess, uh, what's this? A lot of uh, wearing access. But here's a stairway, there's a third stairway going up which just goes to a closet and gets to the walk-in storage area. The master suites to the left, guest bedrooms to the right and right. And this is the nice bead board for the wainscoting in this room. Leads out to the porch, which flanks the whole front, second level. Decent sized closet. And this leads to a Jack and Jill bathroom, which I'll come through from the other side in just a second. And the bathroom actually has a door going out too, to balance off the look in the front. The other guest bedroom has board and batten look. And this is quite pretty, the carpet. You know, it's fine, uh, but it does have a mark here or two. Again, it has the foot molding with the electrical plugs in the foot moldings. And back over here has a nice walk-in closet. And this leads into the bathroom. Since they have little kids, there's two sinks here. And then this door has been taken down from this. There's really no damage to speak of. For some reason, they took the door down and it's tiled shower and then the water closet toilet. It's not really a closet though, it's open. All right, so that's a Jack and Jill bathroom for these two bedrooms upstairs. And. Across here is the master suite, which is quite large and has a stunning roof or ceiling with the crown molding. It's very impressive. I hope it translates on this video. So it's very large, as you can tell. It leads out to a private balcony for just the master suite. And then over to the left is a little area with a refrigerator. Yep, that's really nice. Mini refrigerator and cabinetry. So like a butler's pantry upstairs. And then a huge master bath with clear glass, oil rub bronze, trimmed uh, glass, nice tiling, decorative tile, and then nice tile throughout here as well. Transom to add some natural light into the bathroom. It is Sounds everywhere. There are speakers everywhere. This is a water closet and then a big walk-in in here. And again, this is the renter's place. So they obviously are not gonna make it look great because they probably prefer to stay here. And so you have to look past all that. Just look for the details. And the space is quite nice. It does need a little bit of paint trim my opinion. Now we'll go upstairs real quick. It's going to need a little TLC, but it shouldn't, it's nothing major that I've seen yet. Now up here is a cedar line closet. So they captured this space, which was really walking into the attic area and they put in this cedar line closet. And this is his closet, obviously. And then over here through this door, it's more storage. They put in a built-in, and it's the attic. This is where your air handler is. 
blown and batten insulation. You've got the thin slate type of uh, uh, support for the roof, which is supposed to reflect some of the heat. And then there's another access over here, but it has a locked door. So this may be where the owners keep some private stuff for them, I guess. But it's locked, so they just left their stuff in there, I presume. So I don't know how to see that. So anyway, that's, that's kind of it. And there'll be more detail, significantly more detail, when we get to the... Uh, get to the virtual tour. I probably gained 20 pounds during this sitting around at home and working just sitting. I need to get out and get some exercise. So I apologize for my losing my breath a little bit. I'm a little bit out of shape, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll walk back here and do a final scan. And then I'll do another video of the uh, guest house over the garage in a separate one, okay? All right, hope you like it. Take care, bye.